Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Di diamond. Diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Hey y'all, it's me. <laughs> y'all already know why I'm here. Because Rihanna's Fenty Beauty came out and I know I'm a little bit late, but better late than never. So, today I'm gonna be doing a um, video on how I feel about it. I'm sure if you guys have me on Facebook, you guys have already heard how excited I am. I'm not gonna hide that. But without further ado, let's try Fenty Beauty. Boom. All right, guys. So um, let me just start off by saying I know that this lighting is not the most natural lighting. I ended up um, starting to do this video in the morning when there was natural sunlight, which I absolutely love. But I am not going to do any makeup. So it took me literally forever to do my eye makeup, which is my eyelash falling off. I had to go, I had to go try to fix my eyelashes because they flying away from me. Like, they have no respect, no respect at all. I bought you, like, I gave you life. I don't even think they're fixed. Great. So first of all, I am in Kuwait. I live in Kuwait because I work here and I heard about Fenty Beauty coming out and I was just heartbroken. <laughs> I was so heartbroken because I was like, it is not going to come out here. I cannot try this amazing product. I love Riri. Like, come on now. And not only because I love Riri, but the fact that this amazing line of 40 shades was coming out, you know, that fit everybody. Me personally, I have never found a foundation that matches me perfectly. So for me, this was exciting. So yeah, I found out that they had Fenty Beauty here in Kuwait and I was just shook. So I was like, okay, let's go. So I literally called these people 24 times. Like I called the Sephora 24 times, two different ones. And after 24 calls, they still had an answer. So I just took my butt over there and lo and behold, they had Fenty Beauty. So first of all, let's just talk about the packaging because that is the first thing you see obviously um i'm really really big on packaging i want to do graphic design and um the part of graphic design that i'm most into is packaging and logos and things like that the way that you package something can have a huge effect on if people buy it or not so i bought a lot of things but i'll start off with showing you know the packaging for the foundation and the packaging for the matchsticks and things like that. And I just absolutely love it, even with the highlighters. <laughs> but the packaging is just so bad, girl. Um, you know, I love the black and white. I love that it's simple, but it still gives that mm, kick-ass kind of feel. So, the packaging is beautiful. It doesn't remind me of MRE packaging that Kim Kardashian came out with that cheap shit. <laughs> but no, um, it looks like she put her time into it and I really, really like that. So that is a plus. I tried a 420, a 450, and then a 480 just for the fun of it, which was their darkest color. Surprisingly, the 420 ended up matching the inside of my arm simply because that's kind of where I'm the lightest, but it didn't match my face. Um, the 450, at first, I thought it was a little bit dark, but after it oxidized, it ended up being perfect. I maybe could have went with a 440 even, but I love the 450. It was great. The 480 matched my husband's skin tone perfectly. And I just, you know, me and him knew that we were different colors, but we hadn't really realized, um, you know, the range of how far apart in color that we were. So that was really cool to see as well. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because I'm talking too much. So, this is the packaging. It's like so cute, compact. It's in this like frosted bottle. Shake well. A little bit here, a little bit red. No, that's because um, 
this light and I would wish, ouch. I wish that I would have got this makeup ready. This eye makeup ready earlier. Because I knew it was smarter for me to film and regular lighting. Yeah, I need some more. It's looking like right now. So far, like it matches and I really like it. Like it doesn't feel, um, Thick and cakey, which I absolutely hate. That's part of the reason why I always hated to wear makeup is because I don't like that cakey feeling. Like my MAC foundation, Fenty Beauty MAC. Fenty Beauty MAC. It matches, it feels smooth, like it's a flawless, flawless um, finish. And I really like that. So I'm gonna move on to the other things that I got. Then pretty much with my skin tone. So maybe I'll use this on days when I just really wanna do something really, really natural and look at this. What God joined together, let no man separate. <laughs> but no, like, they're magnets. That's so cool because I lose things like clockwork. So for me, this is great, because I won't lose my things. And I'm gonna test this on the back of my arm for you guys so you guys could see. So, you get a good amount, and it's really, really thick. So, you won't, you know, it'll last. So we're gonna move on to, right? My husband's Jamaican, so I'd be like, cinnamon, you a cinnamon, cause we all cinnamon, okay, so cheesy. But I like that. Oh, I'm going to try. It's not cool. So I can move over. To my bathroom because I felt that it was more fair to have my bathroom light, which is really, really more realistic of what it looks like than that light that I had before was just way too glowy. So, um, oh, I didn't finish doing that. This is so pretty. Like she did so good. This could go on so many different type of skin tones. I really, really like it. It's like a rose gold and I'm crazy about rose gold. Um, I've tried it on. Oh, it's time for the banger for trophy wife. Cause nobody a trophy wife over here. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. I'm gonna go up a little bit. I like it. Shining, 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 shining. All of this when I've been missing my mind. Yeah. Don't try to hold me down. Whatever Beyonce said. Like this color, gold or yellow on dark skin is just so, so beautiful. Like a whole bunch of this. I'm just gonna. Ooh, that's a lot. One, one, two, one. I think you guys can't see it, but y'all will. 
Cause we made out of honey and gold and sunlight. Yeah, that's what we's made out of. Gosh, my day is over. Like, I'm, I have to go buy a new one. All right, so I'm not a quitter, so I'm mad about my highlight, but I'm gonna finish my lips. And my lips, I'm gonna look all the guys like shiny. Diamonds in the sky. The last thing is the Fenty. Um, Lip glow. So I'm just gonna try that. It smells so good. Like it smells like watermelon. It's amazing. So. So that's it, guys. Um, for tonight, I actually want to do like a more dark lip. So I'm gonna take this off, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to record it. And I'm just gonna use this Golden Lady Kiss Proof Lipstick, color 113. And this is also from Kuwait. So this is the final look that I came up with. I decided to change from the gloss and put on this dark lip because me and my husband are going out to dinner and I just wanted to feel sexy. You guys are close up. Cool, so.